With Season 7 in the rearview mirror, all eyes are on Season 8 of Fortnite. This brand new season of the popular Battle Royale has just begun, so why don't we take a look at some of the Battle Pass Season 8 skins and let you know which back blings go best with them. It's just what we do to ring in every new season here at CBR. It's pretty much a tradition at this point, so let's get into it. The hybrid skin is definitely one of the best looking tier 1 skins we've ever had in Fortnite, and it looks an awful lot like the Merc with the Mouth Deadpool. There's clearly some inspiration there, and we love it, but we're very happy you can unlock different colors for the skin as you progress and earn XP. There's blue, purple, and even an all black version of the skin, meaning the opportunities for combinations are nearly endless. When combined with the Wolfpack back bling that you could have only earned by completing 5 of 8 dire challenges all the way back in Season 6, the skin skin really shines, and looks even more like Deadpool with a katana on his back. But you only have one instead of two. It looks like these two are a match made in heaven, as this is one of the simplest and best skin and back bling combos for Season 8. If you already have the Ember skin, then you probably spent plenty of cash just buying tiers, because you could only unlock it at tier 71 of Battle Pass Season 8, and there's no way you already got there just by playing the game doing Week 1 challenges. Anyway, if you want through all that trouble, we have some great back bling combos for you. This skin just looks amazing. Her style and the flames coming from her hands make her look like something out of The Legend of Zelda. We're sure you've gotten to tier 7 by now, and if you did, you got yourself the Cobra back bling, and it's definitely the best back bling for this skin. The gold meshes well with her accents, and the red eyes of the Cobra match her flaming hands. If you have the skin, you definitely have the back bling, so try it out when you can. The Tier 100 skin for Battle Pass Season 8 is Lux. This skin was pretty underwhelming for us at first, but once you level up and then realize the Battle Pass was free for most of us, you can't complain too much. Black and red is always a good color combination, so why not slap it on a black and red back bling as well? This is exactly why the Black Ice Mantle variant looks right at home on the Lux skin. We don't understand why it's called the Black Variant when it's red, but we can't really question Epic Games at this point. You unlocked it by outliving 1,000 opponents after reaching Tier 100 of Season 7 and unlocking the Ice King skin. We love challenges that just require playing the game and doing nothing specific, so if you got to Tier 100 of the previous season, you'll definitely get the back bling eventually. Say what you want about the Lux skin, but there are so many possible back bling combos with her that we just can't stop. Next up is Lux combined with the Subjugator back bling. This back bling was bundled with the Enforcer skin that could have only been unlocked by completing all seven Season 5 road trip challenges. Yeah, Season 5. It's hard to believe that was already three seasons ago. Man, time certainly does fly in Fortnite. The Enforcer is a badass, so the Subjugator looks great with the skin, but it surprisingly looks just as good, if not better, on the Lux skin. If you don't believe us, just have a gander. Come on, that's an awesome combo. The back bling is so unique compared to the other shields in the game. If only you could actually use it in-game to shield yourself from incoming bullets, then we might actually win for once. Of course, you just knew that we were going to mention Peely at some point. While everyone has their own opinion of the skin, we think it's absolutely hilarious, which probably explains why we love it so much. It's worth getting to tier 47 just to unlock this meme. Just look at its face. Sure, it looks like a mutated banana that grew limbs and a face, but hey, that's just a part of Peely's charm. Now, there aren't many back skins that go with a 7 foot tall banana, but if we had to pick one, we think Scaly would probably be the best fit. If you bought the Rex skin, one of the few skins in the game that we weren't a fan of, then you also have the Scaly back bling that was bundled with it. It transitions great onto Peely, but we prefer not wearing a back bling with this skin. We got male and female cowboy and cowgirl skins all the way back in Season 6 with Deadfire and Calamity, but that didn't stop Epic Games from introducing another skin in the game that gives us those Western vibes. Sidewinder can be unlocked at Tier 23 of Battle Pass Season 8, and we really like her hat too. There's a snake wrapped around it, so try not to get too close, unless it's radioactive. Then you can get bit to get superpowers. Yeah, that's how that works. Anyway, the black, white, and red accents of the skin make it a perfect fit for the black shield. Yup, one of the OG backlinks from Season 2 is still being used today and looks so good on pretty much any dark skin you can think of. It also has a whole worlds collide thing going on because last time we checked, cowgirls never used shields. If the hybrid ninja skin wasn't enough, we even have a skin that makes you look like Naruto in the game. Well, we like to call it the Naruto skin, but it's actually called Master Key. 
We don't know what Master Key's first name is, but maybe he's related to Keegan-Michael Key? Okay, that that's a bit of a stretch. Back to the point, this skin is unlockable at tier 87 of Battle Pass Season 8, and we just love the color scheme. But since there are so many colors, it makes things difficult when it comes to picking the right back bling. After looking through our locker and trying literally every back bling we own with the skin, we finally found the perfect match. The German Mogul Ski Bag. Huh? Okay, maybe it's not the perfect match, but it has black, red, and yellow. Three of the colors of the skin, so it's close enough. The pirate's life is the life for us, mateys. <laughs> okay, no more pirate accent. We hear you. It was terrible. But what isn't terrible is the black heart skin. You don't even need to get to a specific tier to unlock the skin. Just buying the battle pass will unlock it. We just love great tier one skins. And battle pass season eight definitely delivered. Also, if you didn't notice, the man has a compass tattooed on his chest, which obviously means that he can never get lost. Duh. That is a next level genius right there. And it makes us wonder why other pirates don't get a compass tattooed on their palm or something. Actually, never mind. That sounds too painful. Now, if you have the frozen shroud back bling, it means you got to tier 100 of Battle Pass Season 5, so congratulations on that. It also means you have an awesome back bling for the Blackheart skin. It looks great. Back to the other tier one skin from the battle pass, let's focus on hybrid for a bit. We already talked about his Deadpool looks, but for some reason, the skin just looks great with so many different back blinks. Like we said, it probably has to do with how versatile the black and red color scheme is. It pretty much goes with anything, except for neon green. Yeah, that probably wouldn't work, but you'll probably try it anyway. While the reds don't match up perfectly, we still love the way the skin looks with the terribly named Black Ice Mantle variant. It's red, epic, not black. We honestly have no idea why this bothers us so much. We'll try to let it go. We love the unique cape style of the Ice Mantle, and it can change color, which is why it's usually our go-to back bling. It might not look as good as the Wolf Pack back bling, but it's a very close second. Okay, so we have a third back bling that goes well with the hybrid skin. Yeah, we're probably borderline obsessed with it, but we just really like Deadpool and all the things that look like Deadpool. Hey, this is CBR after all, so expect us to like things that look like superheroes. The Ice Spikes back bling doesn't come bundled with the Ice King, but it does come bundled with his wife, the Ice Queen. So just like the one her hubby has, these Ice Spikes have different variants and can change color to fit a bunch of different skins. By turning them red, they're a perfect fit for the hybrid skin. While the red is still kind of off again, but other than that, it's as good as it gets. If you think the Ice Mantle is a bit too much, this is the perfect alternative. You can't go wrong with some Ice Spikes, that's for sure. Sticking with rare Season 7 back blings that begin with the word ice, we have the epic combination of the Ember skin and the Gold Ice Mantle variant. This back bling could only be unlocked after you outlive 25,000 opponents, which means you'll be playing a lot more games of Fortnite in your future if you don't already have it unlocked. We're still working on our Gold Ice Mantle. The orange accents on the Ice Mantle are literally the exact same color as the flames coming from her hands, and the gold just looks great as well. This could easily be the best skin and back bling combo in Season 8. Heck, this could be the best skin and back bling combo we've ever seen. Well, maybe. Maybe we wouldn't go that far, but you can't deny how awesome these two look together. It's undoubtedly one of our favorites. We need that gold ice mantle now. The Sidewinder skin may have a snake defending the front of her, but if you need some protection for your back, then you can combine the skin with the rear guard back bling. If you got to tier 55 of Battle Pass Season 5, then you have this bad boy in your locker. If we're being honest, the rear guard back bling can go with anything, because brown and silver are just simple, bland colors. This combination definitely won't make you pop on the battlefield, but for some simple folk, that's exactly what they want. They don't want something flashy. They'd rather have something interesting and a bit less out there. Sometimes there's no need to dress up. You could look just as good dressing down. Also, if you think about it, even this look has a world collide thing going on. Oh boy, it's like season five all over again. And hey, that's not a bad thing. We're just saying. Okay, we swear that this is gonna be the last time we talk about the hybrid skin in this video. We pinky promise. How could we talk about a red skin without mentioning the red shield? In fact, how could we make one of these videos without talking about both the black shield and the red shield? We think we've done so in every one that we've ever made. Let us know if we talk about these shields in each of our skin and back bling combo videos. We're honestly curious. Anyway, while we're sure the black shield looks great on hybrid too, it's all about the red shield. The red may be slightly off again, which seems to be a trend for this skin, but it's still a great combination that we just can't wait to get a win with. We're still looking for our first Season 8 win, but that's besides the point. 
Going back to the Luxkin, is it possible that she might secretly be Canadian? As a Canadian channel ourselves, we'd welcome her to the Great White North with open arms, but seriously, the reason we think she might actually be a Canuck is because she looks amazing with the Canadian mogul ski bag back bling. Just take a look at Lux with the back bling. It looks like they were meant for each other. If there was a matchmaker for skins and back blings, this would be the combination of their dreams. Well, we're actually the matchmaker in this case, and yes, it's the combination of our dreams. Winter may almost be over, but this combo could look good all year round. It's also always skiing season in Canada, so she could mosey on down to the slopes and have some fun there too. What's not to love about this combo? Our boy Peely is back at it again. We actually managed to find a second backlink combination for him, but whether it's truly good or not is kind of up for debate. We love the Master Portal backlink and how it opens up as you get more and more eliminations. Well, we love all the backlinks that change their look over the course of a game, but we're talking about the Master Portal specifically. The green and yellow on it are a good combo with Peely, and the red gives it a splash of color that the incredibly yellow skin desperately needs. Because it's totally not flashy enough as is, it needs even more color. Like we said earlier, we still prefer wearing no back bling with the skin, but it's a good option for those of us who don't like having our backs exposed. You always gotta watch your six, right? Yeah, we lied to you. But this, this is definitely the last time we're gonna talk about the hybrid skin though. This time we actually truly mean it from the bottom of our hearts. There's only a few entries left, so you gotta believe us, right? Well, whatever you choose to do, you can't deny that the backup plan back bling looks like it was made for this skin. You were able to get this back bling as part of the first ever Twitch Prime Pack, but if you didn't claim it back then, tough luck, because these Twitch Prime Packs are a limited time only deal. The red doesn't match again, but it's not really a big deal because it just looks so good together. The darker colors on the backup plan are exactly the same, so even though the red isn't perfect, it's still a great combination. There's beauty in imperfection. It's hard to talk about the Blackheart skin without speaking in a pirate voice and making fun of the compass tattoo on his chest. Wait, we we already did that? Oh, okay, then let's get straight to it. The Blackheart skin goes perfectly with a lot of the dark cape back blinks. We already talked about how good it looks with the Frozen Shroud, but it also looks great with the Coven cape as well. If you bought the Sanctum skin that was in the shop recently, which we hope you did because it was pretty cool, it was bundled with this cape that's a perfect fit for the Blackheart skin. The colors are just made for each other, and the cape adds a bit of a modern touch to the pirate. We think the Frozen Shroud looks better, but for those of you who don't have the backling, the Coven cape is a close second. Surprisingly, we waited until this late in the video to talk about how much we loved wing back blinks. Yeah, we talk about them all the time in these types of videos, just like the shields, but in this battle pass, winged back blinks look especially good on the Lux skin. One of our favorites is the Fallen Wings back bling. This is one of the sleekest and best designed wing back blings in the entire game. To get this back bling, you had to have purchased the Fallen Love Ranger challenge pack, where it was included along with the Fallen Love Ranger skin and some challenges to give you some extra V-Bucks. The colors look great on Lux, no surprise there, but we just feel like it's missing something. Don't get us wrong, it's an awesome combination, but there's definitely a better winged back bling for the skin, and we think we found it. The Shadow Wings are the perfect back bling for the Lux skin. Just look at it! They make her look incredible. The dark colors of the wings are a good match with her color scheme, and man, they just look so good when on a red skin. It's crazy. Now, she truly does look like a fallen angel sent back down to Earth to kick some butt and chew some bubble gum, and she's all out of bubble gum. If this isn't an intimidating skin and back bling combo, then we don't know what is. The Fallen Wings make us feel like something was missing, but the Shadow Wings really make this skin shine. She may not be the coolest tier 100 skin we've ever seen, but Lux is definitely growing on us, there's no doubt about that. The battle pass was also free for most of us, so again, there's no point in complaining about it. Last, but certainly not least, we have one of our favorite skin and back bling combos in all of Season 8, the Ember Skin and the Dark Void Back Bling. This combination is as good as it gets. You can get your hands on this back bling the next time the Dark Vanguard is in the item shop since it's bundled with the skin. The colors just mesh with each other beautifully. The orange and chrome accents of the Dark Void are the same as the ones on the skin, and even the purple light in the back bling matches the skin tone of Ember. It also makes it look like this device is what gives her those fire powers, so honestly, we think the Dark Void was actually meant for the Ember skin. Yeah, we know, it's crazy, but after we saw this combination, we were convinced, if only we didn't pass on the Dark Vanguard. 
and those are some of the best Fortnite skin and backbling combos for Season 8. Are there any that we may have missed? What's your favorite skin from Battle Pass Season 8? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to CBR for more Fortnite videos. Thanks for watching.